Tracy's a trendsetter. He, he does things that other people are scared to do. He's just a first class person and a, and a great business person. He is very personable. He cares about people. Tracy takes his time to sit down with people. He'll say, uh, well, let, let's just investigate it. Let, let's sit down and listen and sympathize with the people. He actually believed in helping a, a customer. His uh, whole idea of how a business should be operated was unique from anywhere I'd worked in 20 years. He's always cared about us. He's always told me, if you know, anything I need other than cars, uh, you know, call it like a friend. The dealership is not just a family business. It's not just a legacy project. It's not just a way to make money. Of course, it is all those things. But more importantly for me, it's, it's a passion. Well, you know, as a kid, the things that I loved and the things you had, we really, I really had a passion for was magic and the lighting and the sound, and I'm a real visual person. So we took all that stuff and brought it into the dealership. I mean, we just try to make it fun and interactive for the consumer and, you know, real transparent. I actually went to school for radio and TV broadcasting. Marketing was my, my minor. And I said, you know, the, the marketing part of it needs to be a little bit different. Right now, we're competing with everybody, and we don't want to compete with everybody else. And I always felt like there should be a personality in the commercials. So I stepped in front of the camera and did it, and uh, the response rate was, it was really good. And over the years, we really kind of tweaked the, uh, the messages and the characters and the fun of the commercial. And the more we can set ourselves apart in the marketplace, you know, it, it, the more return on investment we really got. We've gotten a lot of national recognition based on the things that we brought into the store that's totally different from anything else any other dealership's doing. I don't look at the awards you've got, it's just unreal. I won the uh, National Quality Deal of the Year Award in 2006. It's the highest honor you can win in the used car industry. And I was the youngest dealer to ever win it. It, it. That was a real defining moment for me. We were named the number one small business in North Carolina last year. Book came out, Uncle Frank Says. I've gotten incredible feedback for that. It was a best-selling book. People start calling and asking, how are you doing this? Uh, you know, I, I've started speaking to uh, dealer associations, at dealer conferences, and giving back to some of the guys that helped me along the way. I've always been impressed with his, uh, the way he handles himself, the way he handles his personnel, his customers. If the dealer doesn't stand behind their product, how can a consumer expect to trust that dealer uh, and have a relationship with that dealer ongoing. We're not for everybody. Music's a little loud. The gong ceremony is a little over the top. The colors are a little bright. We tend to wear silly hats, high-fiving and dancing around. We have a good time. Some people don't like to buy cars in that atmosphere, and that's okay. We're not for everybody, but there's a lot of love in it. And I think you can feel that when you walk in the door. <laughs>